Right, the sun is shining, I'm at Obama. Whole new golf swing today for the average golfer and that means we're gonna get this Ping G410 driver back out and see if I can put a few different swings on it and see if it makes a difference to performance. I'm gonna stick it right up against my G400 Max out here on the course. Starting off at the driving range, let's get up there, let's hit some golf balls, get some shot traces on and see how this thing performs. When I put them in a head-to-head -head, out here on the golf course itself, what is the ultimate result? Will my opinion change? Only one way to find out, let's get whacking some golf balls. Right, two decent strikes. I've got to say about the G410, I got that a little bit out the bottom, so I'm expecting the difference that we've seen here. G410, just behind me. G400 Max, maybe did it by about 10 yards, but purely based on strike. So uh, a little bit of an advantage down G400 Max, but like I said, purely based on where that definitely come out the bottom grooves for the G410. And I have to say, to be fair, the performance it got for the strike I put on, or at least where it is on the club face, I was uh, pretty impressed with that, so. First in, nothing to split up. That's as good as I've got with a G400 Max. Well, there's nothing much in them too, and like I said, to be fair, both of them are as good as I can put a ball on club when it comes to driver or club on ball even. A um, little bit more cut, slightly higher ball flight, but again, all be down to strike, I would think, but let's see how they separate in terms of where they landed. Right, really interesting one, and a huge difference in terms of where they finished up. There was a higher ball flight with the G410, which is finished here, and I'd more than take that any day of the week, but the G400 Max, it's probably a good 20 to 30 yards further on. Now, obviously it's down to strike. Could also to do with the actual trajectory and ball flight, because it was a flatter ball flight with the 400 Max. It was definitely higher launching with the G410. But as far as strike for me and the swing I put on them, it was, like I said, as good as I'd got. I'd take any of them. I'm really shocked at that in terms of distance where that's, maybe again, it's a bit more fairway and run out, I don't know. But on that shot there, G400 Max has done it by a mile. Right, before we go too much further, let's talk about how these things differ in looks and why one might appeal and the other may not in terms of uh, what you like to see at a dress. Different crown altogether. Turbulators still exist on both of these in terms of when I talk about turbulators, I'm talking about the, um, the almost like fang grooves that you see on the top line. But the Dragonfly technology, as they call it on G400 Max, in terms of what you can see visually on the top, the raised pattern, that's disappeared. It is built in within the crown ping, the same, but they've constructed a whole new different sort of um, shape at the back end of this club. Again, it's quite nice, it sort of drags the whole club away. It's a smaller head profile, uh, but a chunkier head profile, I would say. So when you look at the two, and if I can get those, one is a lot, the G400 Max seems to be sleek and almost thinned out of the back end. G410, just that little bit chunky, and again, you see that weight uh, distribution element in the back of the G410 is built in that bulk at the back end. I mean, in all honesty, there is not a lot to separate them in terms of looks, it's what appeals to you personally. G400 Max is just that bigger profile and might just inspire a little bit more confidence in those who need it and like to see that big club head behind a ball at a dress.
Right, another two tee shots you've seen there off the six, and it's a massive difference, you know. It's obviously the combination so far anyway seems to be so different in terms of what I said from the initial video. Um, both decent strikes. There's a higher ball flight without doubt that I'm getting out of the G410. That's where this has landed. It was a perfectly good shot, happy with it. It was a bit cutting, which was the shape of this hole. But the G400 Max, for me, I don't know why I'm getting such different numbers, but that's another 30, 40 yards on down the fairway. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously a lot down to do with strike, but I'm just getting far better. Distance, control, feel. It's still out this G400 Max at the minute. And I can't see how that's gonna to change too much. Okay, rolls reverse there and it just shows again whatever swing you put onto these things is always going to have uh, the, the biggest impact on performance this g410 drive that i hit is probably the best drive of it all day it's absolutely nailed it and uh, it's gone a fair old long way i'll pull the other drive over the other side of uh, there's some water to my uh, to my right and uh, it was probably a good 15 yards 20 yards shorter than what the g410 is so like i said complete roll reversal and just shows how much difference is really in these two drivers maybe none at all judging by what's happened there in those two different shots that you've seen previous shot g400 max unbelievably longer than the g410 and on this that comes a complete roll reversal and again all about strike and all about the quality of the swing that people at our level managed to put on them Right, okay, so a summary on the head-to-head -head. and uh, it was a really interesting test for me because the, the, the one thing I wanted to do is make sure that both clubs were given a fair chance and I have put, I've drove the ball as good as I have done for a long, long time out in the course at Obama today and you'll see that in the 9 old vlog that I was filming alongside this uh, with the G400 Max. Um, but head-to-head, -head, what would I say? There's not a lot to separate them clearly. I mean, for me on a personal level, I still felt a lot more confident with the G400 Max behind the ball and I still felt as though I could do with it what I wanted to when I was trying to put that swing on it. Um, G410 acoustics were slightly better today because I clearly found a lot more of the middle of the club but then that would worry me because uh, there was a drive early on where I hit out the bottom and again it felt really hard. Um, I think it's very much for me, my summary and my overall opinion would be this, I would not change my G400 Max for the G410, no way would I do that. Uh, however, I think that's very much a personal thing. I love that driver and I think that for you, if you're considering buying driver and yet try the G400 Max, try the G410 because that's all that matters really, isn't it? My strike's always going to be variable just like yours and it's important that you try it. Form your own opinion. But I hope it's give a better assessment, a fairer assessment in this head-to-head -head at a G410 and a G400 Max. Right, that's me. Shut up. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of Obama, which is where this has all been filmed from. I'm doing a little bit of a course vlog, like I said, along the way. More videos to come from here over the next few days as well. So uh, thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. I'm going for a pint.